When is a chair not a chair? When it's a stool. Professor von Stuhl. We spoke to him to find out his views on what he likes to call chairology. The chair itself is not conscious nor subconscious, but the act of sitting on it, now that can be either. If there was a choice of colours, I might take another chair rather than the pink chair. Uh, just because the colour pink is not what I would consider to be my uh, personal choice of colours, you see. Probably because this also is the same choice of the colour of the underwear that, that I am often wearing. So the pink chair is reflecting the personality of the person who is sitting on the chair, but there is no connection between the pink chair and the sexuality of the person who is sitting on the chair. Ask Freud. Definitely not. Nine. No. I will not have it said, and, and there has been some speculation and words in the press that are suggesting that, uh, that I have been involved in some way with things which I cannot talk about. I am not at liberty to talk about now in this interview. The newspapers were telling out right how you say damn lies. No, uh, uh, this is obviously a setup. This is not me. Uh, this is somebody who is looking very much like me, or it could be, it could be uh, my twin brother Eric, who I have never seen for some years now. And I deny all knowledge that this is me. I have to go now. I'm feeling. Now you did not say you were going to interview me in this way about the pink chair. No, I'm going home. So what do the public have to say about this theory? Do they agree that the colour chair you sit on does reflect your personality? Um, no. No. Yes, most definitely. No. When it comes to bums on seats, it seems the chair you choose to sit on does reflect your personality. So next time you go to sit in the canteen, think carefully about what chair you sit on. You could be telling others more about you than you know. I've been Emma Blackmore and I like to sit on yellow chairs. Find out for yourself.